Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm gonna to be checking the quality control of these new Pure Strike uh, Gen 3s, 16 by 19s. So I wanna see how close they are in terms of weight, balance, and swing weight. Now, I have three of them here. They've all been used um, a bit. These are pretty new demos. Um, the only difference in the three is I do have one that is a three eighths and the other two are quarters. So let's see how far they're apart or let's see how close they are when we test them out. Okay, so we're testing out the Babolat quality control of these frames. All right, so let's get started. Got my balance board out. Mark number one with a number one. And this is the three eighths. So number one's going to be the three eighths. Three thirty seven. Three thirty seven balance. Okay. Well, that this one actually feels a little strange. Uh, I can feel this three eighths number one. I feel a lot of weight like right in here. Three thirty four, three hundred thirty four millimeters. That was number two. Number three. About 336. Okay. All right. So we got the balance on these. Let's go to the scale. At the scale with number one. Three twenty six. Point five. Number two. Three twenty six point five. Number three. Three twenty one point five. That one's off a bit. Let's swing weight number three since we're here. Three three four. Number two, three, three, eight. Swing weight number one. Three four two. All right, let's go sum it up. All right. So what did we find out? 
Uh, remember when I picked up the first one, which was the three eighths, number one, this one, uh, and I said, this kind of is, I feel a lot of weight right here in the racket, like from the throat area to maybe the center of the racket. Um, like it, it's very noticeable. Um, and that's, that's where that swing weight came from, the 334. So that one's a little off. Uh, you can tell by the swing weight and the, I mean, the balance is in realm. It's just the weighting distribution in that racket's a little off uh, when you swing it. So that's why that swing weight number is on the higher side. Um, balance is in realm though, which is, you know, interesting to me. Um, I mean, they're all kind of, I mean, aside from that number there, uh, with that being off a bit, the this one's on the lighter side the the third one that's a quarter is on the lighter side um but you know this is about as close as you're gonna get with uh the big guys you know uh babalot um you know this is this is what you would expect so uh you know it, it's it is what it is all right so uh it, it's better than i thought um, and that one is just worse than I thought. So, all right. The quality control is okay. It's okay. It ain't horrible. It ain't wonderful, but it's, I call it tennis normal, right? So we know that the RA hopefully is 66. Again, I can't test that. Uh, don't have my $4,000 RDC machine, uh, from Babylon that broke 15 years ago and they don't make it anymore. So I know you guys telling me to go to Europe. I can't get, I don't, I don't know if they're gonna ship me one from Europe, but uh, we'll see, okay? But I do have a question and another uh, viewer actually asked this question. So everybody asked me to do a flex on an RA, right? But the stiffness and the RA is probably the only thing on a chart that you can't change. So everybody's asking me to get the RA from the Fed racket, right? Now, what are you gonna do with it? I mean, are you, can you make your racket stiffer? Maybe you can educate me a little bit about um, what you're gonna do with the number. All right. Thanks for answering that. All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.